Warning, the following video contains spoilers to certain movies, video games, TV shows, comics, etc. If you wish to avoid such spoilers, please click off. Also, this video might contain moments of swearing, so this video is not meant for viewers under the age of 17. Viewer discretion is advised. Dog the second year for Toon Fair 91, and welcome to kind of a different video than what you might be expecting. Hello. Why did you just fall from the ceiling? Thanks for that. Well, how else are we gonna open this video? Yeah. Anyways, hey everyone, Gavin the Hedgehog here, and today we're gonna be discussing our thoughts and our opinions on stuff we've reacted to watched or played recently. Wait a minute. Isn't this ripping off Mike's tune down? Well, he enlisted all of his bots and opinions videos for some reason. But us, we have but us, we want to get out to the people. Hmm. Fair point. But me and Blue are here, but we aren't the only ones that are going to be here in this video. We got other characters. Let's get them up. Okay. We have Polka Dots. Hello, everyone. I am Polka Dots the Rabbit, smartest of the group. Also the shortest. What was that, Daffy? The nothing. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. We have my little brother, Sprinkles. I'm on. Uh, hi, everyone. Why are you so nervous? Well, be well, I haven't appeared on camera before. The only video I've appeared in up to this point is our Helltaker Let's Play. Oh, yeah. We'll leave a link to that in the description in case you're curious. But you'll do fine, Blue oh, Sprinkles. Okay. Let's go get the other guys. Okay. We have Bugs and Daffy. What's up, Dax? Hello, everyone. Also, don't question why I look shorter in Blue and Friends Plush Episode 1. It's because Varner got these plushies that he's using for us recently for Christmas. Yeah. He also had a plush of me. That was me for Space Jam 2. For a while now, before he got these plushies of us. We're breaking the fourth wall. Well, we do that all the time in our cartoons. Yeah, fair. Who else is here, Blue? Oh. We were out of shop for that. Sorry about that, folks. But, uh, who else is here, Blue? Well, we got Varner. Oh, yeah, Varner. Let's get him up here. Alright. Hey there, everyone. Varner here. Oh, Don, why do you not look like, like a human? What do you mean, Daffy? We, we saw you in your Winter Fest blog video. Oh, look, it's for consistency's sake. Also, links in the description in case you're wondering in what video we're talking about. Okay, okay, sheesh. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm here as well as my. Grandfather turned heartless, James Heartless. Hey there, everyone. Also, don't question why I look like Elmo. It's because Varner here does not have the skills to make custom plushies yet. Yeah. So, uh, James is here as well as Alf. I'm on Alf. Mm. Hey there, everyone. Mm. Sorry, I'm just got done eating. You did not get into the peanut butter, did you? I got into the peanut butter. Ugh. Alf, you know how hard it is for us to get your hair out of that. But it's so good. Blue, are we ready to start? 
Yes, Marner, we're ready to start. Good. Let's move on to the first thing. Before I lose my hair of Ralph. What are your thoughts on Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pass? What do we think about Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pass? It's outrageous! Yeah. Come on, Nintendo. You didn't charge anything when you added Super Nintendo games to the Switch Online line. Yeah. Why did you go and do that with Nintendo 64 and Genesis? That's stupid. Yeah. If Nintendo does this again and with GameCube and Wii and even Game Boy, I can tell. I think we know what will probably happen. Yep. Everybody will cancel their Nintendo Switch Online subscriptions at once. It's, it's a cruel aspect to think about, but it's it's probably going to be either truth. And the truth hurts. But uh, yeah, we are not happy with we are happy with the expansion pass because it adds Banjo Kazooie and the Sonic games, but we wish it wasn't so expensive. Yeah, we're considering switching to the upgrading to the expansion pack as to get N64 and Genesis games but there's no guarantee yeah we're considering it yeah let's move on to the next thing what are your thoughts in game middle being responsible for big ribs <laughs> oh crap game mill did what they published big rigs. Big rigs. What? You're telling me, Game Mill, the ones responsible, oh, who published big rigs over the road racing, one of the worst games of all time. It it looks like it. Game Mill. You better not lay another finger on another nickel on your property after nickel star bra. Don't even touch one of us! Daffy, you should probably calm down. No, I will not calm down. Game Mill needs to be canceled to hell for the sin that I have of publishing the worst game of all time. <laughs> Dang it, Daffy. Why do you have to act like such an angry video game duck over this piece of info? I apologize for that, um, but, uh, yeah, Gabe Mill published Big Rigs. If that doesn't kill our trust for the company, nothing will. <sighs> in fact, the fact that we even said it out loud in a video, might... I just send a outburst of shock and anger. Well, this is gonna kill Game Mill more than they've killed themselves after kart racers. Yeah. Nickelodeon kart racers is bad, but Big Rigs is worse. Yeah, I think we can all agree on that. We are now very cautious of what Game Mill does next with Nickelodeon. Yes. Highly, highly cautious. Anywho, let's move on, on to the next thing. What are your thoughts in the upcoming Sonic Origins collection? Ah, uh, Sonic Origins. What do we think about it coming? We are excited. Especially since it has widescreen for as what well, looks like the Christian Whitehead versions of Sonic 1 and 2. They have never been released on consoles before. They were only exclusive to mobile devices. They're re-releasing uh, the Christian Wyatt port of Sonic CD, which we are excited for as well. We have the Kindle Fire port, which we have gotten the knack of easily. One of, it's become 
kind of one of our favorite Sonic games in a way. And another game and we are excited for Sonic Free and Knuckles. Yeah. When was the last time they released Sonic Free and Knuckles? The Steam? Yeah, I think for the Genesis slash Mega Drive I have classics thing on Steam was the last time they re-released Sonic Free and Knuckles. But yeah, Sonic Free and Knuckles is finally coming back. Ack. <laughs> we are excited. It, uh, uh. And they even re-released, made a remix of the continue music from that game. Really? Sweet. Yeah, we'll probably leave a link to that down in the description below. But uh, it says composed by Sega. Instead of crying the actual people who composed it. Which includes Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson composed Sonic Free and Knuckles? Yes. That is a common fact that every pe Eddie he has come to know. Let's see. Well, we're still excited for Sonic Origins coming out oh, later this year. Yeah, we cannot wait. What are your thoughts in the upcoming Sonic movie sequel? Oh, the Sonic movie too! Ooh, ooh, ooh. We are excited for that as well! <laughs> Moving the camera a bit, sorry. Anyways, yeah! We're excited for Sonic movie 2 to come out. It. We liked the first movie, we watched it, we own it on Blu-ray. We have the version with, we have the edition with the comic. We are excited for this second mo movie. We cannot wait for it to come out, out, out this March. It is going to be awesome. <laughs> and before, and I know the other thing is for Sonic for Tears, and I'm going to say we are excited for that as well. Hopefully it's good. I mean, we liked Sonic Forces it was okay. Definitely not a masterpiece. But we know there are some people that hate it, and we respect that. So yeah, we're excited for all the Sonic stuff that's coming this year. Here in terms of games and movies. This includes that at Sonic Prime I'm thing they're doing. And for Netflix. Yeah. Just wanted to get that out there. So, let's move on to the next thing. What are your thoughts in the recent Activision Blizzard buyout by Microsoft? Microsoft by Activision? Why did this happen? This is this is ridiculous. Does that mean Crash and Spiral are Xbox exclusives now? This also means something else. What do you mean, James? It also means Candy Crush is Xbox exclusive. Oh, Lord, not that game! Yes. I really hope they don't port the Candy Crush games to consoles. Either. But, uh, yeah. We are confused about Activision now being owned by Microsoft, but it does kind of give us good hopes for Spyro and Crash. Yeah. And since Activision owns Twins for Bob, does that mean we'll get a Banjo-Kazooie remake from them? Maybe, I don't know, that's up to Rare Rare. I thought they were just called Rare nowadays. Yeah, well, we like calling them Rare. Rare Rare. Rare um, we like calling them Rare Rare because of nostalgia's sake. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. But, yeah. Also, I think PlayStation just recently bought Bungie Games. Who are they? The guys responsible for Halo? What? Yep. PlayStation bought Bungie Games. The company that made the original Halo -O games. What the... Does that mean Bungie will be able to make a Halo remake for Xbox? Maybe. I don't know. That's up for Sony. Ugh, it feels like every company, if every big gaming company is buying all the little old studios nowadays. The times are changing too much for us, folks. 
Let's move on to the next thing. What are your thoughts in Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach? Ah, uh, Security Breach. A game everybody's been waiting for for a long while now. Well, we don't have the game ourselves at the moment. We can't say that Steel Wool did good from what we from what gameplay we've seen. It might not be the groundbreaking story everyone was hoping it would be, but I thought it was all right. And the ending, the true ending, when you beat Afton. Yes, Afton comes back. Spoilers. This is why we had that warning at the beginning, folks. But, uh, yeah. I feel like the ending kind of says that there isn't going to be another FNAF game for a good long time. Either that or it's just finally the end of the Afton saga. Because we saw... Because that body, that burn trap, that was glitch trap in there. So, glitch trap died. He actually died. The blob pulled him back in, up, suffocated him, and they both died. William's finally gone. Does this mean Fanny's free? Does this mean, mean the, there'll be no more murder kids? Wow. When you think about it, it does feel like the end of an era. I mean... Ultimate Custom Night was the end of the Click Team Saga, as we like to call it, but... Man... Kind of feels... Somber in a way that... FNAF Security each ended the way it did. But, yeah. FNAF Security Breach, I say, is worth the play. Go check it out, it's on Steam. And on the PS5. But yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Hmm. I don't know if we got anything more. It says we have one last thing, so um, let's check it out. What are your thoughts in reaching 300 subscribers on YouTube? 300 sub, 300 sub, over 300 sub. Oh, uh, 300 subscribers! Wow. Thank you all. Seriously, we're really thankful that we managed to reach over 300 subs. I think we hit that a while ago, but better late than never. Thank you guys. Nice. Yeah, we wouldn't be where we are without all of you guys, and we are thankful for that. Yeah, thank you guys a bunch. I think that's all the things we have. Yeah. So, uh, thank you all for watching. We might do this again sometime, no promises. Leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down below what you think, and share the video around with people you know, subscribe and ring the bell so you know when we upload, and I guess... From me, Blue, Barner down there who's passed out from joy, Polka Dots, that's farewell, spring, bye, Bugs, Dap, Later, Dap, see ya, James, goodbye, and out, later, we will see you all in the next video, and thanks again for 300 subs, <laughs> see you next time everyone, bye!